Hey guys, this is Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In this video, we'll be going over how intermolecular forces affect physical properties. Stronger intermolecular forces will lead to a higher boiling and condensation point, and that's because the if the molecules are more attracted to each other, it will be harder to separate the molecules, so you have to raise it to a higher temperature, and that's why the boiling point goes up. And boiling and condensation happens at the temperature, so if the boiling point goes up, then the condensation point will also go up. Stronger intermolecular forces will also lead to higher melting point and freezing point, and that's the same reasoning. If the molecules are more attracted, it'll take more energy to separate the liquids, uh, separate the solids into liquids. So that's why higher temperatures needed, so that's why there's a higher higher melting point, and freezing and melting happens at the same temperature. Strong intermolecular forces will also lead to a higher viscosity. Viscosity is defined as the resistance to flow or how difficult it is for a liquid to flow. So think about if you were pouring out a glass of honey versus a glass of water. The honey, it, it flows more slowly than the water does, so you would say the honey is more viscous. So if molecules are more attracted to each other, it's harder for the molecules, the liquid molecules to glide past each other, and that's why it's more viscous and it's harder to flow. Strong intermolecular forces will also lead to a higher surface tension. Surface tension is just, it's defined as the amount of force that a liquid can can sustain before the, the liquid breaks. So think about a bug walking across the water, um, the bug is able to walk across the water because because of the surface tension. So the molecules are more attracted, then more force is needed to be able to separate the, the liquids. And then lastly, stronger intermolecular forces will also lead to a lower vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is defined as the, let's say we had a closed container and there's some liquid. Vapor pressure is defined as the pressure of, of the gas above the liquid at equilibrium. So some of these gas molecules are going to, some of the liquids are going to be able to escape and form gases. If the liquid molecules are more attracted to each other, then it's harder for the liquid to escape, so you're going to get fewer gas molecules. And if there are fewer gas molecules, then there's going to be lower vapor pressure. So just remember, intermolecular forces is directly related to everything except for vapor pressure. So if you have strong intermolecular forces, you're going to have higher everything, except you're going to have lower vapor pressure. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard, and continue the good work.